and I can't wrap my head around anything further than that. Man, you talk like you're like 20 years old in the week. Back in my day, we only did six. I'm, it's close. It's not that bad. It's like what? It's it, like 12, 12 year gap, something like that. I don't know. How old do you think I am? 18? 19. 19. All right. Okay. So close. Nine, close. nine year gap then. Okay. Well, 10. I'm about to be 29. God, I got to fix my life. What am I doing with you kids here at these video game tournaments? No, nah, man. I'm having a great time. I'm, I'm yeah, chilling. No, I'm, I'm 19. I'm commentating glitch. I'm, 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 I'm chilling. I wouldn't change it, honestly, for the yeah. world, uh, even though, you know, I uh, would love to have more money. <laughs> Maybe I should start commentating League of Legends. Max. You speaking my language right now, that is, I, I say the same exact thing as an eagle. I deserve more money. Uh, so going into game number Get one. Get in line, kid. All right, here we are. It is game one, Toast and Class. This is probably going to be the tightest set that we've seen so yeah. far. Although I would say Terry is probably at a significant disadvantage in this matchup. It's just not a... Uh, it's not awful. He can break yeah. the zone better than Ken and Ryu can, for example. You got Crack Shoot, you got yeah. Burn Knuckle. And a little bit of a vibe check of class that they ended up whiffing the Pally Dunk, and Toast tried to punish the end lag of it. Which, uh, let's be honest, you're not doing ever. That move, that move, you're just not touching. So you got to be really, really careful and meticulous when it comes to that. If Terry whiffs it, chances are you either have a projectile active that can punish it, or you back off and reset the situation. Yeah, even the one that uh, collides with the ground, right? The non-auto canceled version is still pretty difficult to punish, but of course, if he does the tiger knee input, jump into power dunk, it's plus one on block. That's kind of nuts, isn't it? I'm, oh, I like the idea of Kumtos maybe trying to get like a jump call out there. This is anybody's first stock to take. Go is active, so gotta worry about the power geysers. That up B was definitely a misinput, but wow, that was the best possible out of shield option. You know, Toast uh, definitely not in range to get hit by Uppy, so Kles got a little bit creative with down tilt and ended up getting the kill. Wow. Yeah, Kles really coming out the gate very strong, and I would not be shocked to see this player pull an upset. I have heard he's been on the rise for quite some time, and there's there's a player from SoCal with a very similar tag that plays Terry. I cannot recall it off the top of my head. And I always mix up that player and Kles, so I'm pretty sure Kles's climb has been here in MDVA, you know, partially at Xanadu. Yeah. And wow, Kles, Kles right now definitely getting smothered a little bit. I feel like Toast is definitely weakest at like his game one and stock one, but then his ability to adapt over the course, even a single game, and make all of the adjustments he needs to is honestly impressive. Just really meticulous and minute stuff like spacing of projectiles to be able to call out different options. But now with Go Active, you are not safe. You gotta be so careful. Oh my god, and you could not have said it better there, Dara. The power guys are almost coming through and sending this boy to an early grave. Oh, it's just going to be the charge rising tackle, though. Okay, enough to do it. Kles setting the pace here two stocks in a row. Yo, Kles is kind of nice with it, isn't he? He's right sick. now, just like like cooking. Toast getting all of the jumps called out. So many really safe jump ins. You see Toast no longer going through up the out of shield because of how safe. What? That's it. That is all it takes. Terry neutral air into downer at the ledge. A classic for sure, but you know what? Even if you've seen it a hundred times, it's not gonna stop you from getting hit by a toast. Getting kind of beaten down in that first game here. Yeah. You know, we've seen really strong performance from Toast at national level tournaments, right? You're talking about CEO. He had a great showing at Let's Make Big Moves 2020. That was, I would say, his breakout tournament. Then extremely strong finish of Frostbite right after that. Frostbite was like the big one. Frostbite was like, everybody knows who Toast is now. Uh, right. That was that was definitely an event. That was so hyped up. The crowd got so loud from Toast. But a win here on Toast could be that moment for Kles here at Glitch Infinite. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what the rest of the set has in store. But great way to kick things off. This stock, this stock was so cool. Wow. Yep, the full hop there. You have enough time to stick a neutral air out, which will also just so happen to be the perfect timing for you to land right afterward mm -hmm. and then combo into the down air. So Kles taking full advantage of that, taking Toast down pretty brutally in the first game. But... I don't know. With the counter pick in tow, we'll see what Toast is able to do. Probably create a little bit more space. Although PS2 is a fat stage, so I, I don't know, Dara, where do you think we're going? FD's probably been. Uh, honestly, it's Young Link, so you like platforms. It's going to be Pokemon Stadium to the classic. There's two big things, too, to keep in mind. Toast, number one, always gets better as the set goes on, ages like wine. The second thing is that I feel like Toast could be going through some really jump callouts because Telly is getting a little bit too comfortable with all of these power dunks and all of these falling neutral I would like to see some more up angled boomerangs and some more jump. 
jump for the Daily Spin Toast. Right, you gotta also account though, Terry has some really fast normals, right? They blessed yeah. all the fighting in characters as well. Maybe with the exception of Kazuya, of really quick, scrappy buttons up close. So will Toast even find enough of a break to get those boomerangs out to anti-air preemptively? I don't know, but so far he's looking great in this game too. And we already see this coming into play with these rising neutral is super active, so you, you don't have to get your timing right. But the biggest thing to always keep in mind is that, you know, Terry could kind of press buttons that are a little bit bigger than the neutral at times. So something to be super cognizant of. A bill and four leader are gonna be close best friends, but that time around, Kless ended up meeting him a little bit soon uh, with a guy to get a little of his own, and Power Dunk will do it. Max, Max, let's go. It's the power I saw of a point. 112. That's what it is. It's the perfect line. Oh God. And we are at a speedrunning tournament, by the way, so I hope all of you guys know what a 112 is in the chat. If not, do some research, find out, and find out about Terry, man. This is a matchup that I feel like a lot of people don't know. He's got such good buttons, right? Some of the best normals in the game. They're just attached to a character who's not the most mobile. Yep. But man, wait. Oh, the wave that back? Okay. okay. I plus. didn't know we were playing melee plus, or marble plus, already. Plus, that no wait, way. that wait, that poke. Kless is cooking. Kless is chefing. What is going on? Plus, now the second player I've seen intentionally wave dash back in neutral. The other one, Proto Bonham. So in good company for sure going for stuff like that. Guys, don't be fooled. Even though the wave dash in this game is kind of fake, it has uses. The biggest thing, Kles was moving, moving, moving so much. And then when it mattered the most, they ended up stopping and sitting still. And Toast just fell right into the uh, clutches. Oh, wow, letting this guard down just a little bit too soon. Okay, Kles gets opened up by the neutral air, but Looking ultra fine here. Okay, pushing the 200 mark, and we are one stock away from a pretty fat upset. Yeah, 70% Toast is going to have to pull a fast one. I have seen Toast make amazing comebacks before, right now smothering class a little bit. This, you know, all these back hills, all these neutral legs, already 80% off of just a single advantage thing. And one more of those, and we're looking at an even game. Dara, I don't know, things are really heating uh -oh. up. Toast coming alive. That's that cover which I'm talking about, but you are not punishing power. No that up B is going to be able to do it, and just like that, Kles 2-0, not even just wins, messes okay. up Toast. What happened? That was uh, that was an absolute body bag, and I was sitting here thinking, you know, Young Link might have the advantage over Terry. He got a lot of keep away tools. He got a sword. Not exactly the best edge guards in the game, but they're, they're somewhat there, right? You can throw bombs, yep. challenge the rising tackle. A lot of things that I thought would be awful for Terry, but... If you're not familiar with a matchup like this, hands-on, if you don't have a lot of direct experience, Terry yeah. is going to pick you apart. That was that was menacing. I have not seen Toast be opened up like that by anybody. Toast goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best because he is some of the best. And for Kles, playing Terry of all characters to be able to do that, honestly, is amazing. But it is glitch infinite. So you already know that, you know, all of the all the fighting game character players are just going to be able to get uh, the world buff here. This was that was that was definitely a game. I don't know if you guys can hear through the crowd mics or anything, but MDVA is getting loud in the background right now. It's not even noon. No, it's not. Uh, wow, I, I hear deep throaty screams in the background. Like this is insane stuff. And also nobody clipped that. But uh, wow. You know, you just said that you ended nope, up jinxing. No, yourself. I didn't. I anyways, didn't. No. Anyways, you, you guys didn't hear anything. So uh, yeah, wow. Already a, a nice upset to kick things off. What was that our fourth set? Something like that. Killing a crowd actually come alive before it's noon, that's kind of nuts. It's a because good sign for the event. You know, whenever, whenever like, you know, my, my like friends like end up playing, 